Right, in this tutorial I am going to teach you how to make your own versions of Dolce & Gabbana's star printed jeans. The star printed look has been worn by, I can't even count how many celebrities, it's very now at the moment, along with sparkles of all descriptions. Um, the jeans that I'm going to copy have been worn by one of my favourite actresses, Evan Rachel Wood, and also I believe by dancer Julianne Hoff, recently in Elle magazine. Right, first of all, you are going to need, funnily enough, a pair of black jeans. I'd personally recommend jeans of the stretch, skinny persuasion to get an authentic look. First of all, I'm going to teach you how to do the stars. I like to make a stencil for them, just for the sake of accuracy. Um, so I've used these foam shapes that are, I believe, £3 from John Lewis. Um, just to use the foam, really. Um, what I did was to um, just map out a star very sort of roughly, kind of like you would do while doodling over school books during dull moments in lessons. Or perhaps that was just me then. Just a standard star like a kid would create. Tidy it up a little bit, which is the beauty of using a pencil. The other thing about using a pencil for something like this is I find that the real bind with foam is that if you use any pens they just sink straight in and rip through it. Which is not what we want. Not at this stage anyway. So I've made a medium sized star. I'm just going to show you how to make the smaller star as well. I'm going to use this flower. So again, just constructing a star there. Just fattening out the edges a bit. And then using a scalpel with a sharp, fresh blade, you need to cut through the foam whilst trying not to do the same to your fingers. And again, soften the edges ever so slightly. Which I'll demonstrate once it's properly cut out. So once that's cut out, like I say, you just want to soften the edges there. Do the same with a smaller star. So just cutting it out with a scalpel and in so doing, watching fingers. So that they don't get lacerated as well. Then you need to get a blob of blue tack. I've already made a stencil on my trial run before making this video. Um, you just need to roll it up in your fingers and stick it to the star. 
like on this stencil here and on this one. So that's how you make your stamper. Next you need some fabric paint, white fabric paint. I use this uh, fabric paint by Dylon, which you can get for £2 from most good fabric and craft um, shops. Give it a good shake. Open it and using, I like to use the paint on the lid, which has landed from the shaking. Um, just dip your stencil in there and scrape off, I don't know if you can see on here, any excess paint because otherwise it will smudge. You want to keep it to proper full coverage but a thin layer and just stamp it on your jeans like so. And not to worry if it's streaky, which uh, chances are it will be. I like to, bizarrely, rather than a paintbrush, use the end of a biro because you just kind of get to um, sort of trowel it on rather than uh, with a paintbrush it can go a bit sort of transparent or uh, not quite transparent but um, you can't sort of lay it on as thickly and make it as opaque as you can bizarrely with uh, biro and the other bonus of that is because it's got a nice narrow tip to it you can control it quite well so I'm just filling in that star there So apply it generously to the nib of your pen, just dipping it in so there isn't any um, excess paint going where you don't want it to go. And just cover the side of the jeans with that until you have something that looks like this. As you can see I've done the excess paint work around the edges and around the pockets. I'll show you how to do that next. So the final part, which is the exciting bit where we get to slather on the paint like it's going out of fashion, which this star thing shouldn't be. Um, we have to stuff the jeans with, I'm using a plastic bag, anything that's not porous, which means things don't leak through it, um, because we're going to be handling a lot of paint. And for that, we need another pot of Dylon fabric paint. Give it a nice shake, and we need a small pot to put it in, like this, which was which I managed to pick up from the supermarket for 25p, so thankfully it didn't break the bank. Slop it in there. There you go. And I like to use this pliable spatula. This was about £2.75, I believe. Um, again, from the supermarket. Um, believe it or not, it's perfect for this particular job. Not just because it's pretty, but because of this pliable sort of rubber textured bit here, which is just great for sort of just using like a paintbrush but a paddle brush at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, so just to get that painterly effect of the original, we're just going to slop it around here and make a reasonably controlled mess is the best way I can describe it. If you look at the original, it's pretty messy around here. So while you don't want you want it fairly thick and fairly consistent, little blobs here and there actually kind of like that one there actually kind of add to the effect and are kind of cool. 
So that's the look you're aiming for. So just bending your spatula, coaxing it around, but still going kind of crazy, is the way to go with this one. Just going around the pockets again. I can't repeat this enough. Keeping it as messy as you possibly can. Not go not with the paint going too thin though. That's why you want to coax it back into the uh, same direction again to get some decent thickness out of it. And carry on along the sides as well as the belts. 